Choose your character. RD. Look, my bitch is all bad. It's all real. I ride in. It's a big tall hills, big fat checks, big large bills. Run out, flip like 10 car wheels. Hey people, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I know we're almost at the end of January, um, but it's been quite a few weeks since I've recorded, so I am back today with a new video. Today's video is going to be a makeup video inspired by my costume that I'll be wearing in Trinidad. So I am playing with Rogue and my costume is called Barty. This was designed by Sean Donraj and his inspiration was Cardi B. Oh. So it is this yellow costume and I'll insert a picture right here so you can see what that looks like. Um, don't mind that I look completely different today because I'm actually filming this intro on a different day. Life happens and I wasn't able to do it on the day that I actually filled the tutorial, but this video is voiceover style, so I will be listing all of the products that I use down below in the description box, so please make sure you check that out. And if you're interested in seeing how I achieved the look, then stay tuned for the video. Starting off with a freshly washed and moisturized face, I begin by doing my eyebrows and I'm tracing the underneath and then I go back in to fill in the tail where the hair is a little bit sparse. And then I go back in and touch up um, above the brow if there's any spots that need filling in and here's where we are so far. Now I am taking a spoolie and just brushing the product through to make it look a little bit more natural. Now we're going in with concealer and this is just to carve out the shape of the brow and I only do this on the bottom. Then with the excess concealer on the brush, I just take that across my entire lid. Now I'm going to mix a white base with my concealer and just place that on the bottom part of my lid so that my eyeshadow colors appear brighter. And I'm gonna set that with a setting powder just to make sure it stays in place. Moving on to eyeshadow, I'm taking this Juvia's Place palette and I'm going in with that dark yellow color and I begin by placing it in the outer corner of my lid and I'm building up that color slowly to the inner portion. Next, I go in with a fluffy blending brush just to blend that out and make it look more seamless. The next palette we're gonna use is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and I'm gonna play around with those four yellow colors that I'm pointing to. And I'm gonna place that in the middle of where we put that darker yellow color and begin to blend that out. I go back and forth between applying the color and then my fluffy blending brush so that it's a seamless transition between the two colors. The third palette I'm using is this Makeup Addiction Flaming Love palette and I'm going in with that gold color and that's going to be placed on the center of my lid. So here's what we have so far. The last palette I'm going into is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Aina collab and I'm going into these two colors, Dwalas and Trust Issues. Starting off with Trust Issues in my inner corner and I'm gonna blend that up a little bit into the crease. Then I'm taking Dwalas and putting that on my lid, so right over that darker gold color. Now I'm going back in with that first yellow color I used just to add some of the color that we may have lost during the blending. For a pop of color, I'm going in with this orange color and placing it right above my lash line in the same shape that I would do my eyeliner. Now I'm going in with my black eyeliner and placing that as close as I can to my lash line. Just for definition, it thickens my lash and it prepares the eye for falsies. So it was not my intention to make the eyeliner this thick, um, but if you're familiar with putting on eyeliner, if you mess up, 
you have to go back and fix it and then sometimes the line gets thicker than you originally planned so that's what happened here now i'm going in with mascara and just placing that on my upper lashes we are done with the eyes for now now we're getting into the skin make sure you apply a sunscreen always use sunscreen now i'm going in with a mattifying primer just to help prevent oil as i am oily at times I'm also using this smoothing primer which helps my foundation to look more flawless. Going in with the foundation, I'm going to place it directly on my face from the bottle and then I'm just going to blend that all over my face until I get a seamless application. Now taking a concealer which I'm going to use to conceal and highlight. And I'm placing this underneath my eyes in a triangle shape and then I'm going to take it down my nose on my chin right above my lip and then in the middle of my forehead I'm now taking this contour stick to carve out my cheekbones right underneath my lip on the sides of my nose and on my forehead Using a makeup sponge, I am starting to blend out the concealer underneath my eyes and just blending out everywhere I place that concealer. Then I'm going in with my foundation brush and I'm gonna blend out that contour. Now we're gonna set our highlight and I'm using a translucent setting powder and the same makeup sponge and I'm just gonna place that in all the areas that I highlighted. Next I'm taking the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. I'm also putting some underneath my eye. It just helps everything look more seamless. Now we're gonna bronze and I'm using this Hoola Toasted Bronzer. This is brand new and I'm just gonna use the brush that comes in the package and just bronzing up my cheekbones and on my forehead. Now we're gonna apply lashes. The key to applying lashes is to let the glue get tacky. If you put it on while it's still wet, it is not gonna stick and then it'll create a mess. So just let your lash glue dry down for about 30 seconds and then apply them on. And now I'm just taking some liner and filling in that gap between my inner corner and the lashes. Okay, going in with a white eyeliner, I'm just going to line my waterline and this helps to make your eyes look brighter. And then I'm taking the remaining white base mixture that I had and placing that underneath my eye to prepare for the rest of the eyeshadow. I'm going to apply the same colors that I put on the top of my lid in the same order. So starting off with a dark yellow, going in with the lighter yellow in the middle, and then that sparkly gold color in the inner corner. Then I'm adding some bottom lash mascara. I decided I wanted a brow bone highlight, so I just went ahead and added that, and we are done with the eyes. Now moving on to the rest of the face, I'm adding some blush. Then I'm gonna highlight with this Becca Gold highlighter, and you can see the glow that gives to the top of my cheekbones. I'm also placing some above my eyebrows and down the bridge of my nose, and then above my lip for a nice glow. Now we're gonna set everything. I'm using this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. And I'm using my fan just to dry that down. Last step on the eyes. I forgot to record this part, but I took these rhinestones and I just stuck them on with some lash glue. I decided I wanted to add some more blush, so I'm going in with this orange blush and adding that on top of the original color that I used. And that looks so much better. Putting on these earrings that I thought were very fitting for the look. Now we're going to finish off with the lips. I'm going in with a medium brown lip liner and I'm just going to trace that all around the edge of my lips. And then I'm taking this matte liquid lipstick in a nude color 
going back in again with a darker brown lip liner and I'm just using that to better blend in the two colors. Now I'm taking a lip gloss and this is like a gold shimmery lip gloss. And then I added the same eyeshadow color that I actually put in my inner corner. Here is the final completed look. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you'd like to see in a future video. If you are not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification so you can see anytime I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time. I was born to flash